Hi, I'm Hayden Jones and you're watching the SA Boxing Talk. What's up Ricky, it's nice to have you back on the Hot Boxing Talk again, just after a press conference that you just had. How do you how do you how do you feel about these press conferences now? Because now you're becoming this guy on TV. How does yes. that? How are you getting? Because this is I mean this is only your second fight. I mean yeah, guys are getting you know. Hundred percent, Hayden. Thank you. Thank you for having me out once again. I really appreciate. I really appreciate you taking out your time and uh, you know putting out this content. Um, you asked how do I take the press conferences and whatnot. Look, man. Like I said the first time, I already saw this for a very long time you know i visualized it i knew i'd be here so every day it's kind of it's kind of for me it's kind of just living my dream living what i wouldn't living what i already knew was going to happen and i just kind of take it a day at a time i enjoy it you know it's funny my my i go home sometimes my parents will ask me and say don't you feel pressure mm. and i like well you know pressure makes champions and uh you know True champions know how to deal under the pressure. So I'm actually the more it comes, the better. The better I deal with it, you know, the better I portray myself as a person. So I dig it. Absolutely. And now this is your second fight. Uh, yeah. People will remember you for that highlight reel knockout that you that you knocked Gabriel out with. I mean, Same. is that the sort of is that the sort of things we can come to expect, or are, are, are or like what do you what is your what is that, expectations yeah. of the fight? Yeah. Hey, look, man. At the end of the day. I enjoyed the knockout. You know, it's always good to get a knockout. It's always great to get a knockout. You know, for the fans, for for you, for your record, it's beautiful that it was on my my debut. You know, it's always good to look back. It's going to be in history. So I, I love the fact that 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 happened. But I always go into the fight with the mindset of, you know, if the knockout comes, it comes. And I don't train for knockouts. I don't train for anything. But I know I've got great power. I know I've got great punches. That when I touch you, you're going to feel it. Yeah. And uh, you know, at the end of the day. I always go out there to perform great, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's one of two things, like we said the other day, you know. Either gonna, I'm either going to come out there and put on a great performance, or I'm going to stop the guy. But uh, just know either way, you're going to, you know, you're in for a good show. So, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay, so the fight the fight isn't isn't so far away from your last fight. So you made your debut in April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's May now. 100%. And the fight's going to be in June. So you, June are, you are quite fighting well at least you've started off fighting regularly regularly yeah. is that the sort of pattern we want to see of course man of course you know young champions young champions always always want to be very active you know you want to build your record build your experience the more you're in the ring the better you know what i'm saying at the end of the day it's uh it, it, it's kind of like that finding that comfortability and uh like we we're saying off the first fight you know you as a as a as a amateur coming into the pro ranks you know, and especially with the gap that i had from my last fight that seven month break you know, with the ring rust, you kind of you're a bit nervous, and you're a lot more nervous than usual. So those nerves have kind of gone out the window. You know, you kind of get used to that, the crowd, and all that nonsense. And uh, now I know what I'm going into. So this time around, I know that I'm going to be a lot more myself. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to put on a, a solid, a solid performance once again. Okay, so now let's go take it away from you for a second here. Yes. One of the same fight as uh, your stablemate Simpiwe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you've seen he's a world champion. He's in the Defenders World Championship. Surely that's inspiration. Of course, man. It's huge inspiration. At the end of the day, Simpiwe Konko, he's a great champion. You know, um, he, we train here with a lot of champions. Uh, you know, there's there's names, there's names. You know, we got Nomevan Dongeni, we got uh, Rainer Liergenberg, You know, we got some Pierre Conco, Heki Butler. I can just rattle them off. You know, and to be around guys like this inspires you. You know what I'm saying? I always say, like, I wanted to be. A, you you know, when you when you reach when you reach a point, if you're in a gym or whatever you do in your life, if you reach a point where you're the best, you're in the wrong place. You always have to have someone challenging you and betting you. And I mean, when I see these guys, even Conco, you know, watching him train and kind of like, you know, uh, seeing where he's at, it inspires you. It hunger, it make you know, it creates that hunger within inside you, and uh, you know, it makes you want to take yourself to that next level. And that's what we've been doing every single day. You know, taking it to that next level. And lastly, what can we expect from you? And uh, do you want to give a shout out to anyone? Man, what do you mean? Expect from me overall, or expect me from the fight? Well, on the fight. You know what you can expect from me. You know, if, if you've been following me from the amateurs, you know I always come out there, I put on a great performance regardless. Like I said, it's going to end one of two ways. I'm either going to come out there and give this guy a boxing lesson or I'm going to stop him. So it is what it is. Um, I'm confident, I'm ready, you know, and uh, I'm just excited to come perform. I'm going to say thank you to um, my family, my team, you know, my wife. Um, I want to spend, uh, send a special shout out to my strength and conditioning training. Uh, trainers um, out in Sunning Hill 
the basement, uh, the basement boxing club, and I uh, just want to say thank you overall to everybody who's followed uh, followed my career up until now, my amateur career, everyone who's kind of jumped on board now. And uh, guys, look, there's a lot to come, and uh, a lot to look forward to. Thank you.